she plays. Soul Train was a hit parade. Pros like us, we had it made. Those were the days. And you knew who you were then. There were no black Republicans. <laughs> Mister, we could use, use a man like Mark. I knew was straight. Why he was the thing to hate. <laughs> the Eldorado ran gray. Those were the days. This week, in Living Color, asks the question: What if Archie Bunker were black? <laughs> It sucked. Must have been dissing me all day there. He's lucky I didn't whack him. Oh. Edith, where's my eight ball? I don't see a malt liquor in your hand there. Uh, don't you remember, Archie? They burned down the liquor stores during the riots. Well, you stifle yourself. That was a civil unrest, and don't you forget it. <laughs> What's for dinner? Oh, your favorite, Archie. Macaroni and the government cheese. Cheese, Edith? You know what the government cheese does to me. I spend more time in the throne than Queen Latifah there. <laughs> Say, where's Glory in the ham hog head? Oh, they're all volunteering at the Rainbow Coalition. Oh, jeez, the Rainbow Coalition. <laughs> What's Jackson doing cavorting with them blue-eyed devils? Why can't he be more like your Louis Ferry can? Oh, that's far a car, Archie. Whatever. <laughs> By the way, Edith, what up with the hair? Oh, it's my new braids, Archie. How do you like it? Oh, jeez. I'm married to the African dingbat over here. <laughs> oh, you're upset, Archie. Why don't you sit down? I will, lead it. Just as soon as you answer me one question. Anything, Archie? Where the hell is my chair? <laughs> oh, I forgot to tell you. They repossessed it today. Repossessed? By who? Who else? The white man. Those honky bastards. Those man-ish monkeys. Those Volvo jockeys. Don't be prejudiced, Archie. They're just like us. In fact, two white people just moved in next door. Oh, jeez. There goes the hood. Archie, get home. How was your day? Step off, dingbat. Work sucks. I'm sorry, Archie. Maybe this will brighten your day. Peep this. I got us two front row tickets to the Funkadelics concert. Word up. How'd you manage to get these, Edith? I traded in your nine. Oh, gee, Edith, not the nine. I'm sorry, Archie. The next time somebody busts into the crib, I'll bust the cap in his ass with George Clinton ticket. That's just great. It's just great. Now, leave me alone. I'm going to bed. Oh, but Archie, I invited Mr. Munson and his new girlfriend over to play space. Jeez, Edith, give me a break. I'm not in the mood for munching in his roving cock eyes there. They are kind of whack. Well, try not to stare at him this time, Edith. The last time he was here, you almost got yourself hypnotized. Oh, she try and be nice. He really wants you to like his new girlfriend. I hear she's fly. Don't worry, Edith. Munching is my ace. I would never, never diss him. Hey, what up now, Archie? Oh, jeez, look at the sellout over here. Oh, uh, Archie, Edith, I would like you to meet my new main squeeze. This here is Snowflake. Hi, everyone. A snowflake. Yeah, it's my stage name. That's lovely. So you're in theater. Yes, I'm an exotic dancer. Oh. Oh. It's like go and give us your taste. Boom. Tap. Hey, hold on a second. Hey, tap. Watch him fall off that bimbo here, huh? Well, it's, it's very nice to meet you, Snowflake. And uh, a long time no see to you, Mr. Bunsen. How have you? <laughs> Hey, Edith. Your wish is my command. Edith, Edith, how about getting the 
us some snacks out here, huh? Yeah, okay, Archie. Oh, Snowflake, why don't you go on and help eat it out, baby? Okay, baby. Oh, sugar, <laughs> sugar <sugging> now. <laughs> Jeez, I'm ill and over here. Munchin', are you bugging out or what, bringing her in here like this? Hey, now, hold up, Archie. Because you know I don't play that. See, if you can't get along with me and my woman friend, we will raise up right now. Stop playing with me! Chill yourself out here, Munchin'. Jeez, just chill yourself out. I got nothing against her, except she's white. She, I can kick it with anybody there. Okay, everybody, time for courts. Uh, you know what? Uh, uh, Archie, why don't you partner up with Snowflake and then me and Edith the double team? Oh, no, hold on a second there. I ain't teaming up with the white broad. Oh, <laughs> chill out, Archie. I'll be Snowflake's partner. <laughs> okay, Edith. I won't let you down. I just love spades. <laughs> we kind of figured that when you walked in with Munch in there. <laughs> oh, Snowflake, you want a deal, girl? Yes. Go ahead. <laughs> so cute. It's one for you. It's one for you. It's one for you. It's two for oh, you. Baby. It's me. Yeah. <laughs> it's two for you. It's two for you. It's two for me. It's is she gonna feel like that all night, there? Yeah. Did you hurry it up there, Snow White? It's the plate. Whatever. Jeez, Munchie, you think with all the white girls to choose from, you could at least pick one that finished the first grade there? Hey, 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 hold up. Now, you about to work my last good nerve. Why are you yelling at me, baby? I'm not talking to you. But you're looking at me. Now, see what you did? I hope you happy. Now my woman's all upset. But I didn't say nothing. He's talking to me. But he was looking at me. The brother is cockeyed, Edith. Well, who the hell you call the cockeyed? I didn't call you cockeyed, baby. <laughs> See, I'm not talking to you. But you're looking just straight at me. <laughs> now, now my woman is mad. I ain't never gonna speak to you again. Snowflake, baby, y'all. Hold on a second there, Munchin. Hey, Munchin, wait a second. Munchin, Munchin. Hold on, Munchin. Hey, Munchin, Munchin. Was he talking to me? No, he was talking to me. He was looking at me. Will you check yourself there? <laughs> Great. Now I lost my gun and my best friend. I'm sorry, Archie, but look on the bright side. At least we're still going to see the Funkadelics. Well, whoop de doo whoop de doo whoop de doo <laughs> What happened today? You didn't get pulled over by the cops. No, I didn't get pulled over by the cops, you dingbat. <laughs> we were eating lunch today, and this trucker comes by, you see. So we pull him out of his cab. We beat the hell out of that honky. That's terrible, Archie. No, eat it. That's good. Because the trucker turned out to be Stretch Cunningham. <laughs> He'll be out for six weeks, and I'm taking over his job. Daddy, how can you celebrate something like that? Like this. Where the hell's dinner, Edith? Oh, we're waiting for Gloria's new boyfriend, Michael. Oh, yeah, Daddy. And I want you to be really cool with him. Don't worry, little girl. If he makes you happy, he makes me happy. <laughs> now, now open the door for the ham hock head. Daddy! <laughs> Hi, Michael. Hello, everyone. My, what an interesting weave. Who hooked you up? I grew it myself, and they're called dreadlocks. Dreadlocks, schmetlocks. That's a dried-up jerry curl, dear. <laughs> Looks like your activator went on strike, dear. Oh, my <laughs> Mr. Bunker, you don't understand. I'm Jamaican. Jamaicans, Haitians, Dominican. What the hell's the difference? You need a fade. Daddy! Fade's close. Let's grow. Well, everybody sit down. Archie, I hope you like it. It's your favorite. Collard greens. Where the hell did you pick these, Edith? They smell terrible. You been down to the railroad tracks again? <laughs> they smell like somebody's armpits. <laughs> no, Mr. Bunk, I'm afraid that is me. I am all natural. <laughs> What's all natural? Ma, that means he doesn't believe in
been using deodorants. Ah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you think being surrounded by all that water, they'd at least touch it every once in a while. <laughs> but what would you expect? Jamaicans rank pretty low. <laughs> I'm sorry, Gloria. I love you, but I won't sit here and be insulted. <gasps> Daddy! Mom! Mom, she do something. Apologize. Gee. Okay, uh, Michael, dear. Uh, look, uh, I'm sorry if I offended you and your, uh, what do you call, uh, Ristafarians, dear. Rastafarian. <laughs> Whatever. Mr. Bunker, your thinking stinks, you know. For your information, we're all the same. No, no, wait a second, buddy. That's where you're wrong. Because at the top of your list is your classic American brother there. We were here first. We invented the penis and your, what do you call, uh, your soul train there. <laughs> Second on your list are your Africans who traded us for a bottle of rum, the sellouts. And on the bottom of the list there, you got your island brothers. Your basic, what do you call, cab driver slash short stuff. <laughs> Unlike yourself, me, I only put natural things in my body from the earth, like ganja. Oh, jeez. What's ganja? It's the chronic bud. <laughs> now get my nine, eat it. We got a crackhead over here. <laughs> crackhead? If you don't mind me saying, Mr. Bunker, it's attitudes like yours that continue to allow our people to be oppressed by the oppressor. And let me tell you something, Mr. Henry Bettelfani there. <laughs> <laughs> that is it. I am leaving. Daddy, do something. Uh, he's a man I love, and I'm going to have his baby. What? You hit that? <laughs> you hit that? Oh, jeez. Now, Archie, check yourself. Remember your high blood pressure. That's a good idea, Edith. I think I'm going to give myself a stroke right now. <laughs> I'm getting my doctor. Can't eat it. I got my lovely wife here, my beautiful little girl, and a son-in-law named Bob Morley. There. <laughs> Archie, you better hurry up. Bonnie Hefner will be here any minute. I'm just finishing up some important business, Edith. <laughs> Say, Edith, do me a favor there, will you? The next time you make macaroni, chill out on the cheese, huh? They sentenced me to 30 minutes of hard labor there. Hey, wait a second. Hold on a second, little girl. Can I ask you a question there? Sure, Daddy. What the hell are you wearing? It's an old Adidas school dress, Daddy. Don't you like it? It looks more like a ripped condom there. Now, put on something respectable. I got Barney Hepner coming over here, and if you're gonna get with him, you gotta look fly. Daddy, I don't want to get with him. You want me to get with him. By the way, what's so big about Barney? Anyway. Three things, little girl. One, he's got a good job. Number two, unlike a certain hammock kid you used to date, he's a citizen of the U.S. of A there. And number three, shut up and get changed. Ma! Oh, jeez, he's here. <laughs> Barney, my age boom. Come hey, guys, what's up, man? How you doing? Edith, how you doing? Hey, Barney, uh, I'd like you to meet my daughter, Gloria, here. Get over here. <laughs> Gloria, this is Barney, the most eligible bachelor at the plant. Daddy! Uh, now, I don't mean to embarrass you, Barney, but uh, me and the guys down at the planet have been noticing you've been in a little slump with the hoochies lately. <laughs> and it just so happens that my little girl here has just got out of what do you call a malfunctional relationship there. This is ridiculous, Daddy. I will not be treated like a child. Jeez, of course not, little girl. Now, let's go out to the kitchen and get Barney an old English there. She's a real honey dip, eh, Barney? Well, we'll be right back there, Barney. Oh, no. oh look, I, you know, I didn't get a chance to tell uh, Archie that I can't go out with Gloria. I'm already seeing somebody. Oh, that's too bad. What's her name? Uh, Stephen. Oh. Oh. Here's your mom looking here, one, yeah? Here you oh, go. thanks, Ed. Thank Gloria's you. out in the kitchen making some nachos. She's quite a girl, that Gloria there. You two will have a great time together, Bonnie. Archie, I just don't think that Bonnie wants to push up on glory. What's wrong with you, you dingbat? Gloria's dope. He'd have to be gay not to want to go out with her. Whoop, there it is. What 
the hell are you talking about, Edith? Who put such a crazy idea like that in your head? Edith! Uh, <laughs> he was joking, you dingbat. Everybody knows Barney's got a crazy sense of humor. <laughs> Like the time you showed up at the plant Christmas party, you know, dressed in. Yeah. <laughs> and high heels. <laughs> and pantyhose. Oh, jeez. Here's some nacho. You want another beer? Why don't you bring him a Harvey Wall, bring him with an umbrella there. <laughs> or better yet, just bring him Harvey. <laughs> oh, Archie, chill. Bonnie's your homie. You mean homo. And get your butt out of that chair. God only know where it's been. Look, man, you are being ignorant, man. I'm not ignorant, buddy. You're the one who's ignorant. I know my Bible there, which says in the beginning God created Adam and Eve. Not Adam and Bonnie. Hey, man, you are talking crazy. You didn't have a problem with me yesterday. Yesterday? You wasn't a Fruit Loop. That's it. I'm leaving, man. So soon, Bonnie? Archie, I'm ashamed of you. Me too, Daddy. You've been friends for too long to end this way. Oh, jeez, you too. Don't give me that look. Bonnie, we've been through a lot together, and I, I guess you're okay. For a pansy. <laughs> well, thanks, Arthur. I'll see you tomorrow at the plant, all right? So, uh, uh, oh, did I drop a quarter over there? What are you talking about, Bonnie? I don't see no quarter over here. Oh, baby got back. Get that out of here! <laughs>